Hey guys, Breakman17 here. Um, I want to start this video off by saying happy holidays. Um, it is December and it's a, that time of year again where uh, everybody starts celebrating their different stuff, whether it's uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, happy holidays. Hope you have a uh, good time with family and friends and you get trains. That'll be the, good, the uh, best part of my holidays. Um, second thing I want to hit if you live in the Kansas City or Overland Park area, the Great Train Expo, I think it is, yeah, the Great Train Expo, will be in town just after Christmas on the 28th and the 29th. I do not have the show times yet. Great, apparently according to the club, the Great Train Show is kind of stingy about giving out details to the last minute. So uh, as far as I know, there's a show I will be at it. I will have my first and second module, which I'll try to put pictures up somewhere around here. Um, hopefully, Defiant 47, we can finally meet face to face and be nice to put a face with a name. Um, yeah, if you guys are out and around uh, the Kent City or Overland Park area, it's out there at the Overland Park uh, International Trade Center. Uh, it'll be a good time. Hopefully, uh, if any of you guys can uh, come out and uh, meet me, it'd be pretty cool to be able to put some uh, name with faces, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I have next? Oh! Uh, a lot of you guys have probably heard of 3D printing, and if you haven't, it's basically you take, um, well, there's different kinds. There's three different kinds of 3D printing. Some people take a solid block of plastic and you put it down and a drill goes and drills it out. Others have it where it builds on top of itself. Uh, I'm not real sure what our school has, but our school has one. And I recently got a hold of some pieces that look like this. And if any of you guys know where I'm going with this, don't meet me to the point here. Uh, these are what you call sky boxes. And uh, you can see I've started to paint the ends and whatnot. Um, the original came in this yellow, white color. Um, yeah, it was a rough color. Uh, sky boxes are basically what they ship aircraft parts in, and now you guys are going to start realizing it. Uh, they're the boxes you see behind the aircraft itself. The uh, Now you start to see why one is angled there. Typically, if you were looking at this in a train, the aircraft body would go here, and the overhang of the aircraft tail would be here. And then this would be on one car, and then these, typically a few of these would follow the next one, uh, if it's not... Um, followed by another aircraft uh, body or fuselage, I think is what it is. I don't know. I'll just say aircraft body. I'm not going to fight myself. Um, so, yeah, uh, I had some printed to in-scale standards, and they look pretty good. Uh, I still have quite a bit of uh, painting to do, uh, fine detail, not necessarily uh, overall painting. but And then I'm debating painting this little little piece down here white to... Not necessarily match the ends, but you know, whatever. But as you can see, I've painted the center door and uh, some hinges on there, which. Uh, and I'm not sure if I'm going to yet, but I'm thinking about grab irons up the side, taking a, a real small pin and just drilling out holes. But these boxes are uh, made to fit. Uh, this came off of. Uh, I don't know if I have it in one of my videos. Um, here it is. The CSX boxcar, this is the uh, piece that it rode on, and I, I needed another flat car for uh, uh, the small one, so this one will go on here like that, and the bigger one will go on the new uh, flat car I got for Christmas. Uh, this is a Athern 53 foot flat car with TTX markings on it. Uh, really nice uh, freight cars come from Athern, so take a look. And uh, I, I kind of starting to like their couplers too. Uh, the aircraft body carrying cars will be a uh, an old auto rack underbody and uh, another box car underbody, and they'll go end to end like that. And then the uh, sky boxes will follow that. But I had those made uh, for the show coming up in December. I thought I was like that's pretty cool. Uh, other new things I've been doing. Uh, I got a hold of some gel pens. Did some graffiti, 
Uh, I don't know if that's there. He's going to focus. Uh, did some graffiti. Got American flag there. As you can see, there's weathering on it too. I got a hold of some weathering uh, pastel stuff. Uh, this one's got the Monopoly guy, and then oops. I don't know if it's easy to see there, but um, I got those out of a book. I don't know where the book is, but I'll find that book and put a comment down below what the name of that book is. Really nice book. It uh, talks about the history of graffiti and whatnot. And it's a great book. Uh, picked it up at Barnes & Noble. So, uh, the last thing on my list besides that is uh, new stuff, and we've actually got quite a bit of it. Uh, as you saw, that new flat car. Uh, we also have a uh, tank car. It's a 17,000 gallon uh, tank car with the reporting marks of HOKX and then this one it's a real big one it's a uh, 33,000 gallon tank car with a CNTX I picked them up because I don't have any tank car I don't have any tank cars in my fleet and I've been looking to get a start working tank cars into the train uh, Tom had a box of free stuff and I picked up these two cars uh, originally they were silver in Santa Fe, but somebody had scratched the Santa Fe off. Uh, pretty sure they were going to start kit bashing, or not kit bashing, uh, start remodeling it for something else. Now I never got around to it. So I took it and I'm going to make them Montana Rail Inc. cars. Um, blue for the Montana Rail Inc. and I just painted the top flat black with a, my airbrush. Um, on top of other stuff Tom had, um, this one I really had to think about. This took me a few hours to finally uh, decide I wanted to get it. It's a U50 from uh, Concorde, still in the original box. Uh, it's a U50 uh, repainted Santa Fe. And um, Santa Fe never owned any U50s that I know of. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not a professional. But that I know of, they never owned any U50s. Uh, so when I saw A, the U50, I was like, okay, that's kind of a cool thing to have. And then it's in Santa Fe, which is, you know, Santa Fe. It's not something you see every day, let alone a U50. So uh, I picked that up from him. And then, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. Um, my Christmas present from my grandparents, and uh, you guys have probably heard me mention my grandfather, maybe. I don't know. My grandfather and I are both in the train club. We have a... Uh, joint custody over all of our train stuff so but uh we share pretty good that's why uh you guys have uh i think i've mentioned him because he's the one who technically owns the big boy he bought it at the show back in june yeah june so uh but they always get me something train related every year and uh i've been wanting one of these it's the uh i don't know if i necessarily call it new anymore see if i can get it over there uh there we go uh new-ish ST40s from Cato. Uh, this locomotive is beautiful. It's re it's the uh, retooled Santa Fe uh, 5039. Um, it's a beautiful locomotive. The new tooling on it is awesome and uh, it, it pulls just just as good as it looks so uh, it's pretty cool. Um. I think that's it guys. This is actually going to be an under 10 minute video. I'm surprised. So, hmm. I didn't think I was going to get through it in under 10 minutes. That's one thing I have been striving to do lately because I've realized all my videos are like 15 minutes and uh, I mean you guys probably don't mind sitting here and listening to me talk on about train stuff but uh, you know I do enjoy talking and uh, YouTube's a great platform and uh, I'd like to thank everybody uh, that does watch my video, especially uh, Vinny, uh, BNSF, uh, oh, I can't remember the numbers. I can never remember the numbers, but anyway, Vinny, uh, Defiant47, uh, NS Modeler, NS Modeler? Yeah, I think it is NS Modeler. I don't know if there's anything after it, but um, all you guys are uh, awesome, along with everybody else who watches my videos, especially for... Uh, uh, supporting me, being as young as I am in the hobby. Uh, most guys wouldn't take me seriously, so. Um, that's it for uh, today. All my new stuff, along with the uh, skyboxes that are not made by any company ever. They make kits, but nobody wants to put together kits. That and these are, these are pretty cool, too, so. 
All right, guys, well, that's all. Uh, Break917 out. Hey, guys, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I'm probably going to go over 10 minutes now in this video. Uh, I want to post a few links right here. Yeah, right here. Wow, I can't believe I nailed it. Typically, I'm like, it's over here, and then realize it's here. Anyways, uh, a couple links uh, right here, maybe. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Brad Swift, great guy, uh, ha does Swift paintballing, uh, does a lot of great paintball videos. Uh, underneath him, right here, uh, Defiant47, check him out. He's got a lot of really good train videos. Uh, stuff from his club, the uh, Eastern Jackson County Mainliners, I think it is. Hopefully I got that right. Uh, under him, right here, probably. Uh, Vinny, Vinny's a, a pretty cool guy. He does a lot of uh, BNSF stuff. Uh, mm, I think Arizona is his location of... Uh, or the location he picked for his layout to represent, I think it is. I think? I don't know. Um, and then over here on my shoulder, one of my best friends, uh, Motorama, a uh, buddy of mine. Uh, we've done uh, videos in the past. Uh, if you go into my channel and watch Gunsmoke Trailer, Gunsmoke Trailer 2, and Movie Teaser, uh, that was him and I... Uh, working on stuff and I don't know if he has any videos of me we haven't quite gotten around to doing a lot of videos but hopefully when I get my new camera coming up this Christmas we'll be able to make uh, some really good photo or not photo well I hope to take good photos but uh, we'll, we'll make some good videos I have some so short films lined up that I want to do um, some concepts and development and I don't know so alright guys that's all like I said Breakman 17 out um. I tried it on, tested it on a boxcar before I did it. Uh, my CSX box.